Now any patch of swamp, that's what that is, could have a tentacle. And a tentacle could be as far out as over here somewhere. And a tentacle can kill you if you don't have armor. Alright, this is the stone that has the gold in it. So one piece for the first science machine and six for the second. But the thing is, unless you get a lot of gold, you're almost married to wherever you put the second one for your base. Also, once you start your base, it's going to be hard to have too much stone. Now, this is going to be kind of a random play just as I have time. I'm not, you know, I'm not committing to, to do an episode a day or anything like that. I'm just going to give it a whirl. I thought about doing how I start out before. And your best bet on that on a long term would be Maxwell's playlist on Maxwell's Free. Because uh, he has a huge sanity bonus, so you don't have to worry about that with him. But he also has a, a huge nerf on his hit points. So if dying has been your problem, he, he comes as close to being really easy to get killed as anybody. Except Wes. Where are we? Five. Alright, that gives us the first two science machines. But one more would give us. Now, Tallbird will kill you. Just straight up kill you this early in the game. So, what you don't want to do is be in a position. Two Tallbirds will kill the hell out of you. Yep, there's going to be a bunch of them up here. Now, they used to chase you all day and all night, and you can't stop and make a torch or anything, so. I don't know. We could get our... I'm trying to think what I need for the lightning rod. I think... I don't know if it's one more or two more gold. Let's see if I can get this without getting killed. Oh, and we could leave the niter here. Niter is one of the gunpowder ingredients. And there is our sinkhole. That's one of our caves. Now, how easy is it to tell that? Fairly easy, I guess. All right. All right, we're getting low on food, so we need to be someplace where we can build a fire and be safe and uh, eat. But I'd also like to motivate on towards uh, some savanna if we're possible. Now those graves might be useful. That's not impossible. Well, we'd need a machine. So by preference, let's see if we can find some savanna. Now I think this is a, yeah. A full graveyard often has loose stone on top of it. Uh, loose gold on top of it is what I meant to say. So we're like in really good shape on gold now. Yeah, we're short on grass, which is bad. However, Savannah should have a lot of grass, so... This is probably not, I don't know, it's kind of hard to tell how much savanna it is until you get out into it. Uh, probably not much. Alright, let's build our first fire so we can cook some food here. Okay. I wasn't really intended to do this tonight, but there's no time like the present.
very spoiled before carrots do. So that's a good reason to eat them first. I don't know, I'm really tempted to go on to tell you the truth. Our sanity's not hurting that much. Now the wormhole's kind of a toss-up. It could be a good thing or a bad thing. I wouldn't go through one at night when spiders are active. I mean, I wouldn't go through one by choice or if I didn't know where it goes. Alright, see, this is more savannah. Alright, with this, I'm going to let that light burn out. Five or six percent isn't going to matter that much. What this is, is where a, another adventurer has died and left his stuff. And the thing is... We really don't have a lot of room for his stuff, so it's kind of meh whether we pick up that rope or not. I could leave these five rocks and we could get that rope. Now, it's not impossible this would be a good place to build a base. Uh, All right, I'm not seeing much on this savanna here. There is more savanna up here. Because uh, beeflo and or rabbits will give us our first base. And especially with all the, uh, well, if that's savanna, we'll have grass. So there's no point in stopping for grass. I think that road might take us out onto it. But if we can find beefalo quick, uh, beefalo eventually go into heat. When they're in heat, their butts turn red, and they will attack anything. Butterflies, you, anything. So, uh, and what you have to have to keep them from attacking you is a beefalo hat. All right, here's our beefalo. Now what we want is an area with about five or six bunny rabbit holes, which this is good, but in fact, I'm gonna, I may get rid of these rocks on the road here. Uh, and pick up some of this poop. Now those touchstones, where those were, you could take a stone hammer, a hammer, and smash. Let me turn this down. This rain's kind of loud. You could take a hammer and uh, smash those sticks, and what you get is pig skin, or what I call piggy butts. And you can make umbrellas and armor and all kind of more pig houses. You can make your own pig town out of them. Uh, you need manure for farms, but also when you start gathering up your own grass supply, you need it for that too. All right. Uh, wormhole close to where you're living can be a real good thing. Especially if it's hooked up to some place that, you know, is useful. Swamps or any number of things. Now, up there we had bee flow all around. But here we've got one, two, three, four, five, six. A bunch of... I'm thinking here is going to be good. Okay. Alright, what I'm going to do is uh, build the first science machine. Now, where are we on sanity? 181. Now, we're going to get rid of that rock, so. 
All right, we didn't get any credit for that. Uh, the B flow, what we want is a razor. Okay. I hate listening to poop, but I guess we'll live. Oops. Uh, stone can stay here. Uh, did I do the... Yeah, I did the razor, right? Oops. Okay, that's armor. Let's go see if we can... Uh, well, it's a little early yet. We can't shave the beef low until nightfall. So what have I got that I could be doing here? We get rid of this rock. Now, I always joke about running a redneck camp, but this, uh, to me, making boards for chest is a low priority. So it's not top on my list of things to make and do. Put here. You should be there anyway. Oops. Say hello to my arthritis. Now what we'll need to do is bring a bunch. This, our camp is going to be right there. And we can fertilize. Let's put it over here. We don't want it to be where we're going to be fighting uh, hounds. Any of your farm stuff, you... Your farms themselves are actually non-flammable, but uh, your grass, your sticks, all that stuff is very flammable, so. All right, let's see if we can get some beefalo fur. But if you can get beefalo fur before, uh, before they go into heat, but you also need a horn, a beefalo horn. So, all right, there's two there. There's a hound up here. Why in God's name is there? Oh, God, there's a bunch of hounds. That's a set piece. Uh-oh, that's not good. There, they're asleep. Needs must than the devil. Oh hell, there's the other ones I was looking for. Now where is my stuff? Now we still have to kill a beefalo or however many it takes to get a beefalo horn. to find out what the deal with those hounds is and we also need a spear hopefully it's just four hounds five fire hounds that can cause a hell of a mess and what we get for it is a fire staff Not make a backpack, I guess not. I 
don't we have our backpack on? Let's mess with me, backpack. First weapon, spear. Did I do shovel? Yeah, I did shovel. Okay. Get ourselves in the food business here. See, we've only got 16 days till winter. to go get sticks and we ought to be digging the sticks. Now I don't know what to do about those stupid dogs. Um, well we need sticks more than we need anything else so let's do that and we can grab grass while we're doing it. Need my shovel. Okay our first catches. Now, theoretically, they don't come up out of the same hole twice. And what you're going to want is enough traps to have them, on all, have them on at least a half dozen holes. But we're not in that position because we don't have the sticks for it yet. Now, you can plant sticks without fertilizing them. So we can immediately plant sticks. That's farther away than I thought it was. 